Hi guys, it's Michelle Grigsby in Kansas City. I'm about to be, meet with my mom and my sisters for dinner and a movie. And so I thought I'd really quickly shoot my video and share with you a story that I read today. And um, basically, one of my favorite mentors is the late Jim Rohn. And I read a story today that I want to share with you. It's called The Nitty Gritty Story. And basically, um, can you think of an event in your life that was just a really nitty gritty little thing that impacted you so, so much that it caused you to make, you know, massive or huge changes in your life. And the story that he shares is, um, you know, earlier in his life when he's, you know, he's married and he's living at home and he's a father and he's at home and there's a knock at the door and it's a little timid little 10 year old girl with, he describes big brown eyes and she's really nervous and she's asking him if he wants to buy Girl Scout cookies and she gives him a great presentation, tells him, you know, all the flavors and he actually really wanted to buy some, but he did not even have $2 to his name. And so he did the next best thing, right? He lied. So he told her that he had already bought some and that they had stacks of boxes in their house already. So, and of course her response was, that's okay. And she walks away. So here he is looking after her for the longest time, watching her walk away. And then he shuts the door and then he leans against the door and he exclaims out loud, I am never going to let a situation like this embarrass me again. And he was just so embarrassed that he didn't have $2 to his name. I'm sure some of us can relate to that. Um, but he made the decision right then and there that he was going to make some changes in his life so that he will always have at least several hundred dollars with him at all times. Well, fast forward a few years, he's actually making a hefty deposit at a bank and he walks outside and there's two girls that are selling, um, like uh, girls candy. And he asked one of the girls, how many boxes do you have? And she says, I have five. And he asked the other girl, how many boxes do you have? And she says, I have four. And he asked them how much was it? And he, they said $2. Well, he was excited and it reminded him of that story, of, you know, many years back. And anyway, he decided to buy all nine boxes. So these girls are static. And so they pile up the boxes and he gives them $18. Well, before he turned around, walked away, one of the girls looked up at him and said, Mr. You're really something. And then he was thinking, you know, imagine that I gave these girls $18 and somebody's looking at me, telling me that I'm really something. And you know, the moral of the story is, is he had made that decision to change his life because of that little nitty gritty event that happened to him. And so can you think of anything in your life that's caused you to make a change? I know that for me, I've been thinking about what has happened in my life that has caused me to make a commitment. And I, you know, I wouldn't really say this is a nitty gritty event, but I know that when I was um, in high school and college, my parents went through a really bitter divorce and, you know, my dad basically left us and moved to Colorado and we live in Missouri. And so my mom, you know, they'd been married for 24 years and my mom had not worked. She was a full-time, you know, housewife and a mother. And all of a sudden she had to find a job and I'll never forget my mom's job was selling copiers basically door to door in businesses. And I'll never forget her describing having to, you know, lug these big copiers, you know, onto these, you know, big elevate these elevators and having to lug these copiers around. And, you know, I made the decision then and there that I was never going to be in a situation where I would, um, I would always be able to financially take care of myself. And that was an event that drastically impacted me. So I will never be in a situation where I'll be like that. And so, you know, think of something in your life that might've impacted you. Maybe it was something big like that or something little nitty gritty. So anyway, if you enjoyed this story, I would really appreciate it if you either like, like my comment or leave a comment. And, um, yeah, that way I know you're here. So, all right, just know that you're meant for great things and I will see you tomorrow. Thanks.